What's going on, everybody? This is Eric at Covenant of Love. Uh, this is going to be a rebuttal to uh, Lucifer Conceived by uh, Doreen Debutante um, of Silver Red Indigo. I kind of find her like, a, like, like she thinks Christians are. I find her like that about or how she views Christians. I think she's she should also be viewed by Christians the same way. Now, unfortunately, neither one of you have done your homework, both Christians and uh, those of Judaism, when it comes to Lucifer. So, uh, Lucifer conceived, first off, Lucifer is not in either the New Testament or the Old Testament. It was added to the New Testament from the Vulgate edition. Now, <clears throat> For all of you that don't see Egypt, you if you cannot see Egypt, you're you're way 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 out of the game. And I don't mean to talk about your religion, but I in certain aspects I've had enough. I've really had enough. Okay, uh, Doreen. First off, her if you guys have started with her from the beginning, her her guardian angel Samael. To you guys, it would, I, I don't think it would be Satan, but it would be the devil. Because we, at this point, we all know, you know, Saturn is, is, is Satan, Saturnus, Saturnellus, right? The great hunter, Nimrod, all these people that made themselves God. There's a lot more to this Bible than, than uh, this, this pure race of Hebrews that she keeps referring to. It's very unnerving that she sees her, her race because she views Judy, Judaism as a race uh, that all the evil that they do in the Old Testament is just overlooked and that these Gentiles are the filthy ones. I don't think, at least as far as I know, I don't remember like say Thor and Odin and any of these guys continually sacrificing children um, and throwing them into the fire, Leviticus 28 something or other, right? Um, also within her video, she talks about the road to hell um, at 16 minutes in when she doesn't even believe in hell. There's no hell in Judaism. So you guys really need to wake up to this lady because like like any, any great lie, there's always a thread of truth. And, and discernment, regardless of your religion, should always go back to that thread of truth within all the lies. So let me clarify a couple things. Um, first off, I, I would say that Lucifer... For any of you that have read Helen Blavansky or Morals and Dogma, understand that it is a concept of an individual that was an angel, which I believe both Christians and, and people that are in Judaism believe in angels. Like King Solomon, you know, they don't talk about it, but he wore this ring and he summoned all these angels or demons or aliens, whatever you want to call them, to make the holy of holy temple that had the Maseroth on the floor, which is the constellations, because they talk about don't look at astronomy, don't be into astronomy, but all their stuff is astronomy. Lucifer is an angel that fell into materialism through dimensional, he fell dimensionally into materialism. It is all about Egypt and nothing about a much younger Judaism or, you know, it's not Hebrews, but Judaism. <clears throat> this being that they're talking about, Lucifer, fell to us. He is pure light. And they talk about the shadows of light. Okay, because you don't ever see pure light. Everything that you see is a shadow. Your mind is in darkness. Okay, they're talking about scientific principles. Now, they're hiding all this stuff within your religions, and it's for initiates. It's not for the uh, people that fall into dogma. Because, you know, obviously, if you're still, I mean, I'm not going to get into detail. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody. But Lucifer is all about the word light and lux. It's all about Egyptian principles. It's all, I'm starting to think, if you know anything about the... Um, some of the myths that are swirling around, it talks about this emerald globe that broke into half and half of it is Toth, Toth tablets or the emerald tablets. So is above, so below. Um, 
it gets into a lot of stuff, but I can honestly say it has nothing to do with the video called Lucifer Conceived by Silver Red Indigo. She doesn't even have a clue what it's all about. She's talking like she knows what it's all about. She's either a misinfo or disinfo agent, or she just doesn't know because they're part of the UN. It's called the Lucius Trust. Before that, it was Lucifer Magazine. These individuals are, are into a Hindu religion. It's, it's Hinduism. These Brahmatic, Brahma, you know, he went back into the darkness. And, and I don't know anybody that's, you know, been studying physics, but you understand there's a lot of power in the darkness. Um, it's all physics. Uh, it's absolutely nothing to do with Judaism or Christianity at all. Um, <clears throat> it, it's a reflection and uh, it may have nothing to do with demons at all um, it may not have anything to do with what you may think of as uh, angels or demons anybody that knows about the Vedas knows that they talk about aliens and flying ships and all these different things but I'm telling you guys, if you don't start looking into comparative religion, you're just going to follow around every single person that tells you this is what Christianity, this is what Judaism is. The, neither one of them are the oldest religion. What's the oldest religion? It's Hinduism. Okay? So the 365 gods. They're not 365 gods. It's 365 emanations of God. Okay? They're aspects of the one God. They, they may even have people that are like demigods, but they're actually just aspiring to that aspect of God. It gets into a lot of very, very heavy stuff that has absolutely nothing to do with Judaism. And for your arrogance, every every video you make, uh, you know, you guys created, you did the you, you, you. How about you? How about you guys did this? Um... The conception of Lucifer and what Lucifer is is way beyond you. You're too busy um, toting a flag for a perfect race, uh, which makes, I mean, what what difference are you from the individuals that you, you know, within World War II? I don't see a big giant difference. Uh, you're much more compassionate, but we're still dogs. We're still still of a lesser mentality. We're not we're not able to conceive the great tetragrammation. You know, I, you know, I know all about the 72 names, the 72 letters of, of, of this God. Um, you know, Hashem, or whatever you want to call him, is a symbol. It's a male and female symbol. It's not even a name. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, really? I mean, <laughs> it's just your audacity to me. It just blows me away. Um, I, was get, I just wanted to go on your site and get a, a video for somebody on the one you did on... Uh, you know, the, the central banking system that you believe was not, you know, from the Jewish people, but it was either Sweden or Denmark. But uh, you guys need to stop talking about concepts that you don't understand or you don't read about. You know, it's really easy just to say, oh, a bunch of dumb Christians listening to Lucifer. Uh, most Christians, if they just stick in that book, are not going to be looking at what the words mean. So Lucifer is, is, is light, right? It's Lux. And there is light, and then there's there's real light, and then there's the light, the one light. Okay, some, you know. <clears throat> it may just be the sun, the planet. It may be Saturn, it may be Helios, the, the, the unmoving sun. But it sure as hell isn't what you're trying to make it sound like it is. And uh, that's it, you guys. So, Lucifer Conceived, a rebuttal by Eric. So, just so we understand each other, there is plagiarism in the Old Testament, and there's plagiarism in the New Testament. Oddly enough, Paul, who is not an apostle because the sheer definition makes him a liar, uh, has 13 books. <clears throat> the clay man, okay, that comes, comes after the sixth day and the second creation within Genesis, because there are two creations, that is from Samaria. Um, proof of that also when you get into First Chron these these Samuel. I'm not sure where the six fingered man uh, is at, but his reliefs are from Samaria as well. Uh, these things are things that you have to come to grips with. Okay.
there is tons of wisdom within the Judea, Judaic or Isaac religion and the Christian religion, which heavily borrows from Krishna or love or Hinduism. <clears throat> I'm not denouncing anybody. I'm not uh, accepting anybody. I'm just trying to be a good, honest person. And that's why we have to do these things. Um, there's a lot of stuff out there for this. You know, it's not that hard to find. Okay. Uh, the big giant white men, okay, are all over the world. There are burial grounds in South America with these mummified big white dudes. They're all over the place. Enoch, which they conveniently pull out, you know, he gets picked up from the sky. Hinduism talks about this stuff. But here's the big, the big lie, okay? There are pyramids everywhere. There's pyramids off the coast of Japan. There's pyramids in China. There's pyramids in Mexico. Pyramid, 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 pyramid. Okay, the Egyptians ruled the world. They were a dynasty that ruled the world at one point. There are, is a lot of lying going on. I believe that the largest pyramid is in China. It's called the White Pyramid. Um, it has a flat top, kind of like Samaria talks about, where they have this alien landing on top. I'm not advocating that I believe in any of this stuff. I'm just trying to talk to you and, and get you to grasp that there's a big picture to all of this. And, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but grown-ups think you're dumb. You know, there were, you had me with some of the stuff you were doing on the photographs and the time travelers. You, you had me a little bit because uh, when they broke the speed of sound, they found that time travel was possible. So uh, if you're out there, man, come back and start getting back to work, man. There's a lot of people out here telling a lot of lies and they're, they're conceptualizing their own ideas and putting it out as truth. Uh, there was one point that I was talking to Dorian, or excuse me, Doreen, and uh, every time I would say something to her, she would tell me, you, you know, that's not coming from your mouth, you read it from somebody else. But uh, she's been indoctrinated since day one into her religion, so it's kind of, it's an oxymoron, no? <clears throat> so I'm just adding this. Much love, everybody. Bye.